चैप्टर टू डाइवर्सिटी इन द लिविंग वर्ल्ड क्वेश्चन आंसर्स फ्रॉम चैप्टर सिक्स सब्जेक्ट साइंस बुक क्यूरियोसिटी लेट अस एनहांस आर लर्निंग क्वेश्चन वन हेयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ सीड्स वट डिफरेंसिस डू यू फाइंड अमंग द रूट्स एंड लीव वेनेशन ऑफ देयर प्लांट्स ए वीट बी किडनी बीन्स आंसर डिफरेंसिस इन रूट्स एंड लीव वेनेशन ए वीट roots wheat has fibrous roots this type of root system consists of many thin branched roots that spread out from the base of the stem leaf venation wheat leaves exhibit parallel venation in this pattern the veins run parallel to each other along the length of the leaf b kidney beans roots kidney beans have a tap root system this consists of one main root that grows vertically downward with smaller side roots branching off from it leaf venation kidney bean leaves exhibit reticulate venation this pattern forms a network of veins that branch out from a central midrib and spread across the leaf question 2 name of some animals are given below group them based on their habitats write the names of aquatic animals in the area marked a and terrestrial animals in the area marked b enter the names of animals living in both habitats in part c horse dolphin frog sheep crocodile squirrel whale earthworm pigeon tortoise grouping animals based on their habitats aquatic animals area a dolphin and whale terrestrial animals area b horse sheep squirrel pigeon earthworm animals living in both habitats area c frog crocodile tortoise question 3 manu's mother maintains a kitchen garden one day she was digging out radish from the soil she told manu that radish is a kind of root Examine a radish and write what type of root it is. What type of venation would you observe in the leaves of radish plant? Answer: A radish is an example of a tap root system which is characterized by a main root that grows vertically downward and is larger than the other roots. This type of root stores food and nutrients for the plant. The leaves of a radish plant exhibit reticulate venation. In this type of venation The veins form a network like pattern on the leaf with smaller veins branching off from the main vein. Question 4 Look at the image of a mountain goat and a goat found in the plains. Print out the similarities and differences between them. What are the reasons for these differences? Answer Similarities and differences between mountain goat and plain goat. Similarities species both are goats and belong to the same family. diet both are herbivores and eat plants body structure both have hooves and horns differences fur and coat mountain goat plain goat first mountain goat has thick long fur to protect against cold mountain temperatures plain goats has shorter fur suited for warmer climates mountain goat generally stockier and more muscular adapted for climbing rocky terrains plain goats leaner build suitable for flat open areas mountain goat specialized hooves with a rough texture for better grip on rocky surfaces plain goats hooves more suited for walking on flat grassy lands mountain goat often have curved sharp horns for defense plain goat horns can vary but are usually less pronounced than those of mountain goats mountain goat needs thick fur and strong muscles to live in cold rocky mountains specialized hooves help in climbing plain goat live in warmer flat areas so it has shorter fur and a body shape good for walking on grass mountain goat uses its strong build and sharp horns to defend against predators in the mountains plain goat relies on being fast and agile to escape from predators on the plains question 5 group the following animals into two groups based on any feature other than those discussed in the chapter cow 
कॉकरोच पिजन बैट टॉटॉइज वेल फिश ग्रास हॉपर लिजर्ड आंसर एनिमल्स बेस्ड ऑन देयर हैबिटेट एनिमल्स दैट लिव्ड ऑन लैंड टेरेस्ट्रियल एंड एनिमल्स दैट लिव इन वाटर एक्वेटिक टेरेस्ट्रियल एनिमल्स काउ कॉकरोच पिजन बैट टॉटॉइज ग्रास हॉपर लिजर्ड एक्वेटिक एनिमल्स वेल फिश क्वेश्चन सिक्स एज द पॉपुलेशन ग्रोज एंड पीपल वॉन्ट मोर कम्फर्टेबल लाइफ फॉरेस्ट आर बींग कट डाउन टू मीट वेरियस नीड्स हाउ कैन दिस इफेक्ट आवर सराउंडिंग्स हाउ डू यू थिंक वी कैन एड्रेस दिस चैलेंज आंसर इम्पैक्ट ऑफ डिफॉरेस्टेशन फर्स्ट लॉस ऑफ बायोडाइवर्सिटी मैनी स्पीशीज लूज देयर हैबिटेट्स लीडिंग टू अ डिक्रीज इन बायोडाइवर्सिटी नेक्स्ट क्लाइमेट चेंज ट्रीज एब्जॉर्ब कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड कटिंग दैम डाउन इंक्रीजेज द कंसनट्रेशन ऑफ ग्रीन हाउस गैसेज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग टू ग्लोबल वार्मिंग नेक्स्ट सॉइल इरोजन ट्रीज हेल्प इन होल्डिंग द सॉइल टूगेदर विदाउट दैम द सॉइल बिकम्स लूज एंड प्रोन टू इरोजन नेक्स्ट डिस्ट्रप्शन ऑफ वाटर साइकिल्स ट्रीज प्ले अ सिग्निफिकेंट रोल इन द वाटर साइकिल डिफॉरेस्टेशन कैन लेट टू चेंजेस इन रेनफॉल पैटर्न नेक्स्ट लॉस ऑफ लेवलीहुड्स मैनी कम्युनिटीज डिपेंड ऑन फॉरेस्ट फॉर देयर लेवलीहुड डिफॉरेस्टेशन कैन डिस्टर्ब देयर वे ऑफ लाइफ एड्रेसिंग द चैलेंज रिफॉरेस्टेशन एंड एफॉरेस्टेशन प्लांटिंग न्यू ट्रीज टू रिप्लेस दोज दैट हैव बीन कट डाउन नेक्स्ट सस्टेनेबल लॉगिंग प्रैक्टिसेस एंश्योरिंग डेट लॉगिंग इज डन इन अ वे डेट डज नॉट हार्म द इको सिस्टम नेक्स्ट प्रोटेक्टेड एरियाज establishing more national parks and wildlife sanctuaries to protect existing forest next community involvement engaging local communities in forest conservation efforts legislation implementing and enforcing laws that prevent illegal logging and deforestation next education and awareness educating people about the importance of forest and how they can help in conservation efforts Question seven. Analyze the flow chart. What can be examples of A and B? Plant. Yes. Does it have leaves? Yes. Does it have reticulate venation? A. Yes. B. No. Answer. Examples of A. These are plants that have reticulate venation in their leaves. Examples: mango, hibiscus, rose. Examples of B. These are plants that do not have reticulate venation that is they have parallel venation examples wheat maize grass question 8 raj argues with his friend sanjay that gudhal hibiscus plant is a shrub what questions can sanjay ask for clarification answer questions that sanjay can ask for clarification first what is the height of the gudhal hibiscus plant shrubs are typically medium sized plants question 2 what is the nature of its stem shrubs have hard but not very thick stems question 3 how do the branches of the gudhal plant appear shrubs typically have branches that arise close to the ground fourth is the stem of the gudhal plant woody shrubs often have woody stems question 9 based on the information in the table find out examples of these plants for each group group a type of seed dicot type of root tap root examples mango rose hibiscus group b type of seed monocot type of root fibrous roots examples wheat maize rice a what other similarity two plants of group a have answer similarity of plants in a group a plants in group a dicots typically have leaves with reticulate venation b what other similarities do plants of group b have answer similarity of plants in group b plants in group b monocots generally have leaves with parallel venation question 10 observe the labeled part of a duck in the picture given below What differences do you observe in the feet of the duck compared to the other birds? Which activity would the duck be able to perform using this part? This is A 
duck webbed feet and this is pigeon answer differences in the feet a duck has webbed feet b pigeon does not have webbed feet has regular bird feet with separate toes activities the duck can perform with webbed feet first swimming the webbed feet help the duck to paddle through water efficiently walking on muddy or wet surfaces webbed feet provide stability and prevent the duck from sinking the webbed feet of a duck are specially adapted for swimming allowing it to move smoothly in water friends we have completed all these question answers thank you for watching